Biomedical engineering uses engineering, biology and medicine to make devices that make people healthy. Biomedical engineers working in our laboratories are designing these medical devices to help make life easier for patients who have damaged hearts. In this cartoon, you will learn about how your heart works and what you can do to keep it healthy. You will also learn how biomedical engineers are trying to fix hearts that have been damaged or broken. Your body is made up of many tiny circle-shaped building blocks called cells. These cells are so small that you can only see them with a microscope. Every part of your body is made of cells. Your muscles are made of muscle cells. Your heart is made of heart cells. And there are even special types of cells that make the outside of your teeth and the clear lenses covering your eyes. Can you guess how many cells you have in your body? The human body is made up of 50 trillion cells. 50 trillion is a hard number to try to imagine, but let's try. Do you know how big 1 trillion is? It is bigger than 1,000. It is bigger than 10,000. It is bigger than 100,000. It is bigger than 1 million. It is bigger than 10 million. It is bigger than 100 million. It is bigger than 1 billion. It is bigger than 10 billion. It is even bigger than 100 billion. 50 trillion is a lot of cells. Your body has different kinds of cells that have different tasks. There are about 200 different types of cells. Can you name some cells? Cells that are the same type form a group to make a tissue. Tissues that are from the same type form a group to make an organ. Your lung is an example of an organ that is made up of lung tissue that is made up of lung cells. Your lungs allow you to breathe oxygen. Can you name some other organs? All of your cells need oxygen to work and be happy, no matter what type they are. There is a special type of cell that is red and carries oxygen. This cell is called a red blood cell. Red blood cells give oxygen to all the other types of cells in your body. If the red blood cells stop moving around your body, then the other cells will not get the oxygen they need and will start to die. Your red blood cells that carry the oxygen travel around your body in your blood. Your heart is a special organ that pumps your blood to every part of your body. To your brain, to your fingers, to your toes, everywhere. Your heart beats 24 hours a day to keep you alive. Your heart beats about 100,000 times in one day. 35 million times in one year. And 2.5 billion times during your lifetime. How does the heart work? Your heart has pumps on the right and left sides which work together to move red cells around your body. How do the red blood cells move through the heart? The red blood cells go from the organs of your body to the right side of your heart. The right side of your heart then pumps the red blood cells to your lungs. When the red blood cells are in your lungs, Carbon dioxide waste is taken out of them and oxygen is put in. The red blood cells with oxygen go from your lungs to the left side of your heart. Then the left side of your heart pumps the red blood cells to all the parts of your body, including your heart muscle itself. Your heart is made of tissue that needs oxygen in order to work. Although your heart is full of the red blood cells that it is pumping, the heart does not get any oxygen from these red blood cells. The heart gets its own supply of red blood cells from blood vessels, called the coronary arteries. When coronary arteries are healthy, blood can carry the red blood cells with oxygen to your heart and the heart cells. Do you know what happens when the heart cells can't get oxygen? The heart cells start to get sick and begin to die if they can't get oxygen. Let's take a closer look at what's happening inside the coronary artery. 
Sometimes a substance called plaque can start to stick to the inside of the coronary artery. This plaque releases chemicals that make the inside of the coronary artery sticky, which causes even more plaque to stick. As the plaque grows bigger and bigger, the inside of the coronary artery gets smaller and smaller. If the plaque grows big enough, it can totally stop the red blood cells from moving. Do you know what causes the artery to be blocked? Smoking? Eating too many unhealthy foods? Not getting enough exercise? All these things can cause your arteries to get blocked. If your coronary arteries get blocked, the red blood cells cannot get to the heart cells. If the heart cells cannot get oxygen, they will start to get sick. If your cells get too sick, your heart will not pump the blood around your body like it's supposed to. A heart attack can happen if too many cells get sick and the heart stops working. What can we do to help the sick cells? Biomedical engineers in our laboratories are creating biomaterials that can be put onto damaged tissues and organs like the heart. A biomaterial is a natural or human-made material that can be engineered to help the body heal itself. These biomaterials have two jobs. The first job that a biomaterial has is to provide support for the cells to hold on to. The second job that the biomaterial has is to give medicine to the cells to make them feel better. A biomaterial can be injected into the heart to help fix the sick heart cells. The heart cells grab on tight to the biomaterial and eat the medicine. As the heart cells start to get better, the biomaterial begins to disappear. The heart cells become happy and healthy again, and more heart cells begin to grow. Eventually, other types of cells, besides the heart cells, begin to grow as well. These other cells make new blood vessels grow in the heart. Red blood cells flow in the new blood vessels to bring oxygen to the heart cells. The red blood cells give oxygen to more of the sick heart cells. These heart cells also become happy and healthy again, and more heart cells begin to grow. Now that your heart cells can get oxygen, your heart can pump the blood around your body like it's supposed to. Do you know what you can do to help keep your heart healthy? Eating healthy foods helps you keep your heart and heart cells working. Following the food pyramid as a guide will help you get the right balance of nutritious foods. Foods and drinks high in fat, sugar and salt on the top shelf of the food pyramid give very little of the essential vitamins and minerals your body needs. Try not to eat too many of these foods in order to keep your heart happy. Being active also helps to keep your heart and heart cells working like they should. There are lots of ways to stay active, such as going for a walk or playing on the beach. So get fit, get healthy and get moving to keep those heart cells happy.